Welcome to Earth Juice. This week we are going to be exploring if it is possible to bring an animal back to life. There is one particular specimen that has raised that very question among the scientific community at the moment. It's of a woolly mammoth and it's in Yokohama, Japan until the 16th of September. Now this mammoth is a particularly well-preserved specimen, having lain under the Siberian ice for 39,000 years. It does beg the question, could we ever bring these amazing animals back to life? Now extinction isn't a new thing of course, many animals have become extinct. All of the dinosaurs, the thylacines which kind of look like a cross between a tiger and a dog, the dodos of course, and contrary to recent reports, Megalodon, a prehistoric massive shark. But recently several extinct species have been brought back to life, albeit temporarily. In 2009 scientists attempted to de-extinct the Pyrenean ibex by taking genetic material from that ibex and placing it into the egg of a domestic goat. Sadly, the clone died shortly after birth. And earlier this year, I spoke to Professor Michael Marnie, who, with a team of scientists in Australia, has taken the DNA from the extinct gastric brooding frog and injected it into donor eggs from the greater barred frog. To the team's delight, some of the eggs started to grow into the early embryonic stage. And although none of them survived beyond a few days, genetic tests confirmed that those eggs did contain the genetic material of the extinct gastric brooding frog. So both of these experiments prove that de-extinction is technically possible, but without their habitats, they're unlikely to survive. So we're also trying to recreate those. In a remote corner of northeastern Siberia, biologists are beavering away trying to create a Pleistocene park, which is kind of like a real life version of Jurassic Park. Their aim is to recreate the ecosystem of the subarctic steppe. This ancient grassland requires grazing by huge herds of large mammals such as muskox and reindeer, and their numbers must be kept in check by things like wolves and brown bears. Now a lot of these large mammals are already in place, but there is one thing missing from this ancient vista, the woolly mammoth. With several specimens being unearthed, just like that one in Japan, in a seemingly good condition, adding mammals to this picture is perhaps not just a Hollywood dream. The problem is, although the mammoths may look good, in fact, they're a bit of a mess inside. Having laid in the permafrost for thousands of years amongst the ice and the rock, their DNA is denatured, it's broken down, and inside their cells, it's a bit of a DNA soup. And trying to pick a complete DNA sequence out of that soup is extremely difficult, meaning bringing a mammoth back to life is going to be incredibly hard. However, scientists are a fervent bunch by their very nature, and they suggest that these DNA strands may still be viable if they can recreate the whole mammoth genome using different strands from separate animals. If they can put that DNA jigsaw together, then the next step would be to use the same technique the Australians did to bring back the gastric brooding frog, only the difference is they would use an Asian elephant as a surrogate mother, hoping to create a woolly mammoth embryo. Now, of course, an embryo is nothing like a full-grown woolly mammoth, but if they could do it, it would be a huge step in the right direction. So, while science may be on the cusp of this mammoth leap towards de-extinctifying these behemoths, perhaps the question is not can we do it, but should we? We want to know what you think. Should woolly mammoths roam the Arctic tundra once more? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe because if they ever do clone them, we would definitely report it here and you don't want to miss that. Take me through it then. I can see uh, you've got the camera paused here just as you came onto shift, just past half past. So um, talk me through what happened. Yeah, so we're at um, about 10.40 now. Um, so for the last five minutes or so, I've seen some fairly active labor science. She's been squatting a little bit. She's been, she's been leg pushing to try and find that comfortable position. You know, there's obviously something gonna happen.